In this video, we'll take a look at the iPad keyboard and how you can make it bigger, how to enlarge it, and make it the regular size that you want it to be. There are more ways to achieve this result, and it's a pretty simple process. So let's just get started with the video. The first thing is the shape and size of the keyboard, but it also depends on what type of iPad you have. Some models have different settings available, believe it or not. Let's start with the iPad Pro. It's a Pro model, so you'd say that this one would have more options for customizing, but it's not really the case, to be honest. Anyways, here on the iPad Pro, you have the option of floating and regular keyboard. Uh, if yours looks like this, it's small, it's floating around, and you'd want to make it bigger, you need to just pinch on it. Pinch out as if you're zooming in on a photo in the gallery. If you'd then like to come back to the small keyboard again, just pinch in again to like zoom out of this large view. This small keyboard can be pretty useful. It's for the cases where you can only use your thumb or one finger to type. You can move it around the screen because it has a small handle at the bottom right under it, so you can easily just grab it and drag it around the screen to adjust the position. So as I say, it can be useful. The gestures are not the only way to change the view of the keyboard. Besides this, you can also hold down on the button in the lower right corner. When this button is just tapped, the keyboard goes away. However, if the button is hold down onto, it lets you switch to the floating view. So you don't even need to perform any gestures at all. Okay, this is cool and everything, uh, but on the older iPads, well, it's a bit different there. I have published one video on this channel a long time ago, actually. It's about the iPad keyboard and how to switch between the views, but in that specific video, I'm using an iPad mini fourth generation. It's not the latest pro model or anything, but interestingly, it has one additional option for the keyboard. In fact, on that iPad, I was able to split the keyboard in the middle. This was pretty useful because it let me use my thumbs only to type and I didn't have to stretch my thumbs too much to reach the letters. It's pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm not sure why Apple didn't include it in the newer models in iPads that are much larger than my iPad Mini 4. I just don't get it to be honest, but it is just like it is. Also, if you want to, you can check out the video I'm talking about. It'll be linked down below in the description. And the last thing that comes to my mind when people want to make their keyboards bigger on the iPad would be the actual letters to get larger. You can set it up in the settings, in the accessibility section. There, you can click on the display and text size button, and this will allow you to turn on bold text, which will make things bigger, including the letters on the keyboard. You can also turn on larger text. It's right under it. This, in fact, also comes with a slider, which is really cool. You can adjust the size how you want. So this all makes the keyboard on your iPad bigger. If you're still not happy with the options that are provided naturally by the iPad OS, you can instead head over to the App Store and look for a different keyboard there. You can find many third-party keyboard replacements and things to install, which I think would be really useful for you, assuming you're not satisfied with the built-in iPad keyboard. Anyways, this would be about it. I really hope you found this video helpful and useful. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel and also check out the next video right here on the screen. I think you will really like it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.